Greetings friends, Jeff Carter here, and today is March the 5th. We are reading Out of Strength for Today by Dr. David Jeremiah. As with all the books I read, I highly recommend picking this one up. It's just such a valuable resource to have. Make sure to reach out to his organization, it's called Turning Point, uh, so that you can get your own copy. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I'll, let me first off say thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing. Make sure to punch that like button down there uh, so that we can continue to share these videos all over the world. <clears throat> March the 5th is titled The Divine Creator. In the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 20, in the New International Version, it says, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made. In his book, Foresight, which is endorsed by three Nobel Prize winners, chemist Marcos Eberlin wrote about the complexity of a single cell in the human body. He said, if you were to bid this demanding, multifaceted job, the designing of a human cell, out to the most technologically advanced engineering firms in the world, their top engineers might either laugh in your face or run screaming into the night. The requisite technology is far beyond our most advanced human knowledge. Whether you peer at a human cell through a microscope or at the galaxies through a telescope, <coughs> you can't miss the evidence of the most ingenious engineering and structural design imaginable. It's laughable to think that the existence and complexity of creation came from nowhere, from no one, and from nothing. <laughs> this is my father's world, and to my listening ears all nature sings, and round me rings the music of spheres. We can see clear God clearly in what he has made, and it inspires us to worship him. Again, that's a quote from uh, Marcos Eberlin's book, Foresight, how the chemistry of life reveals planning and purpose. Friends, <sighs> The existence of God has been proven now twice, once through science and once through, through mathematics. Uh, the brilliant mind, Albert Einstein, proved that God is real using mathematics. He said, um, and I'm paraphrasing big time, I don't know his exact quote, but he said that the chances of all of creation coming through evolution, through a big bang, the chances of that are one in what's called 10 to the 26th power, which means it's one chance in, and there's not even a word for how big this number is, but it's 10 with an initial 26 zeros behind it. That's the odds of this all happening by chance, by everything lining up so perfectly that, that this just sort of comes together through evolution. It's nonsense. Now, science, by going down to the subatomic level, has shown that all matter, every, every cell that composes the human body, is spinning away from itself so fast that if there wasn't some, that if there, for us, God, if God wasn't there holding it together 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, then we would fly apart at the speed of light. The evolution. What a joke. <laughs> Friends, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for punching that like button down there. And as always, may God bless you. May God keep you. And may God continue to pour out his favor over you and your families. Bye-bye.